Okay, well, I don't have much time, but so you see here, I went ahead and bought the uh, eight car set for the El Capitan Santa Fe Super Chief. So I got the first two. Oh, I also picked this one up. This just came. The George, uh, George Bush 41 painted like the uh, Air Force one. That's nice. Runs beautiful. Runs just as good as that one. But, I don't know. These are, I'm a big fan of Kato, Kato now. So I've got that one, I've got that one, and then I've got the two that are in the uh, tunnel there. So we're going to look at this, and if I hook, since I only have two uh, engines, and there's actually four for this whole set, and I have the whole set. I have this eight, then I have this additional and then four mother four mothers four others so when you have all of those this is eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen passenger store you know all sorts of car freight cars baggage cars a mail car so on this right now i got the mail car now two observation cars uh two storage and i got the the uh tail you know with the back and it's cool you'll see why so we're gonna get this going here there he goes now look at the back car it's got a light and it says El Capitan so look see, so, so since I'm running such a small set if I get the whole thing going it'll be looping itself here, let's watch the back. That is pretty cool. It's got the little uh, logo of El Capitan, and it's got the little red light. So to have that on the back is really cool, I think. See, and here he comes already. I didn't put them all on. I, like I said, I've got four in there and four in the other set. And there it is. See, this outside loop was just to run Kato trains and to get something like this going, but I did not realize that it would be this long. So when you, you know, it seems cool when you're running like three or four. But when you're running a real cool one like this, two engines, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that looks just about right. And by the time it's cruising, here it comes back. Now, for you get people that don't know, this is a storage room that I just, you know, do stuff in. Make videos, watch TV, play with some trains. And then I have another, my other house is up in uh, southern Utah. Which I have a small HO layout, but it's nothing like this, because I'm building it all around this end gauge that I bought uh, last year. And so I thought, oh, this is neat, but of course, you know, as soon as you get that, you want more. So I decided to run a track around the outside of it, and of course, that doesn't look good without tunnels and buildings. So here it comes.
And there it goes. And then here's, see, what I wanted was a yard, but I didn't think about the room. So here's like a yard, but it's not hooked up really. It's just a couple of tracks that I put trains on. And then the two controllers, one for each layout. Well, a display, and then up there you see I got a that little guy. I'm, I'm running him, taking through his paces, but listen how noisy that other one is. And that's just one little train, but it's on this styrofoam, so it's really, really noisy. Noisier than these uh, Arnold's. All of these are Arnold's, and they're silent when they run up there. But listen to this, but then you listen to that. You can't even hear it. It's almost silent. So I am a big fan of the Cotto now that I know how to run it, how what the deal is. I'm, I, I love this. I love it. This is a really, absolutely supreme, superb layout. And when I called Kato and told him the trouble I was having with my 1943, they said, send it to us. And then give us your card number, we'll bill you get shipping, which is like 17 bucks. And they fixed it. So this thing will run, it runs great, it's just I don't have it going now, so I'm keeping it in its box. And then this, this one is a beautiful, actually, just an absolutely beautiful train, and it runs great. But right now I'm, I'm caught up in the Super Chief and the El Capitan. So, here you can see, oh, I put it away, but, so it shows you everything, and I'm like, wow, and then I realize, oh, I just, it's just engines, you know, uh, 7A and B, or F7A, F7B, and then F7B, and then F7A, again, which is in here, I have F7A and B, I have that. And I have that, or this, this is this, and this I have. So I'm done, and so now I'm going to do the California Zephyr. But, I want everything on display, and I can't do that here. I'm over, I already ran out of room. Because this is a storage room, it's not meant to... <laughs> I thought, oh, this little display is fine. I'm not going to want anything else. Yeah, right. You guys know how it goes. Once you get one, you can, that's not it. That's not enough. There you go. One more time. And that cool lighting on the back that you don't have to install. I won't, I'm not going to install any of the lighting on the uh, other cars. But, uh, so there it goes. Running like a, like a charm. And it's so good looking. Actually, there's light in the uh, display in the uh, one with the bubble. Watch it next time it comes on. Which will be really quick. But watch. We'll get into a dark area. Can you tell that there's light in there? Uh, there's two lights on that. Alright. That's it. I am running. I am out of room. And this entire box has got about 60 cars in it. What am I going to do? See that tin plate up there? H.O. Where is it? That's from my uh, set in Utah. But I don't even touch because I'm obsessed with the end gauge now. See ya. Please leave comments or any anything you'd like to say. I, I mean, I'm new to this, so I need all the help. And uh, you're like, hey, you know, I know this, or that, or maybe you should do this. Let me know. And I'm having a blast with this Engage stuff. I love it, and I love these Kato trains. They're incredible. And my my layout is huge compared to other people's, but. 
my brother-in-law's father who passed away uh he had a uh, hatch be loop end gauge it took him 20 years to build and he dies and his wife sells it for five thousand dollars and it wasn't to me <laughs> isn't that nice but uh yeah five thousand dollars for everything the trains and everything and most of them were you know he was he died in 2003 no four 2004 so he had some of the newer stuff but nothing like the stuff they're putting out now I think he was a Kato guy or a I don't know. He had Atlas like I do. I gotta get my Atlas trained out. But there you go. The El Capitan. <laughs>